The Jeremy Kyle Show is ITV's wildly popular tabloid talk show and vehicle for offering viewers a cathartic sense of moral superiority. So what you do is you invite random members of the public who are experiencing personal drama on and you bait them into having an interesting shouting match on TV and you follow that up by offering some vague attempts at insight into their situation as if that's supposed to justify broadcasting footage of people tearing each other's lives apart for entertainment purposes. Now, speaking as someone who is very averse to drama, who will do anything for a quiet life, I personally find the show to be a thoroughly unpleasant experience, and I seriously have no clue how people can stand it. I just find it to be a lot of loud and calamitous noise, and it may sound weird that I have this reaction, because my taste in music is basically just loud and calamitous noise, and yet watching the Jeremy Kyle show feels like having barbed wire dragged across my brain. I think part of it's because I know these situations are real, and it makes me feel weird knowing that I'm now part of the thousands of viewers watching this show and judging these people like fucking vultures waiting to pick the carcass clean of all the tasty drama and oh my god what is this show turning me into what have i become all right it's the participants choice to take part in the spectacle of jeremy kyle everyone on screen has at the very least agreed to be there but i guess i just have too much empathy for others and know that if i agreed to appear on this show and regretted it then i'd never be able to live it down I guess one of the responses to that is that the Jeremy Kyle show ultimately, at least in theory, theory here, is supposed to serve something that vaguely resembles a moral purpose. Both in respect of trying to see participants' problems through to some kind of amicable conclusion, and the out in the open public humiliation that they undergo is a warning to others to not fuck your lives up like these people did. But here's the thing, people always fuck their lives up. Have you not noticed how people always make the same mistakes, generation after generation, time and time again, because we're all human and we're all flawed? Life lessons only tend to sink in when you experience emotional turmoil firsthand or have it recounted to you by a loved one. There's a lot of distance between the viewer of Jeremy Kyle and the subject, so I'm very sceptical of the amount of impact that it could possibly have as a life lesson. That and any kind of purpose the Jeremy Kyle show might serve is pretty nebulous anyway, as even if there were some kind of correlation between the launch of his show and crime and teen pregnancy statistics, you can't necessarily prove that Jeremy Kyle has had any kind of impact on society at large and made it better because there are just too many external factors to consider, like government spending on health and social care and policing for example. I actually tried reading a book by Jeremy Kyle a couple of years ago and when you try and pick apart what he says, you start to realise just how much any defence of this show is desperately clutching at straws and how full of it Kyle himself is. There is always a friction when an emerging youth seeks to create its own identity quite apart from that of its parents. But in modern times, this has been converted into something far worse and more dangerous. An active distrust and even terror from the elder generation of those menacing directionless kids who espouse no values. Over time, respect has broken down and been replaced by a trend of antisocial behaviour to the point where you find fully grown men, let alone frail old pensioners, who no longer feel safe enough to leave their home after dark. Hmm, and that's only happened in recent decades, has it, Jeremy? Coincidentally, alongside the extreme proliferation of mass media, like your show, for example, with widespread publication of cases of teens fucking their lives up on TV, in papers, and online, in a highly technologically efficient manner, to many, many more people who just wouldn't have heard about it in the years before the existence of 24-hour news coverage. Tell me, Jeremy, did kids today invent guns, drugs, knives, and teenage pregnancy? Societal problems like the ones you deal with have always existed, these problems just seem bigger because they're more obvious now. Yeah, I was going to do a full video on this book, but I gave up at the end because it's very preachy and it's basically just like listening to someone's grandparent ranting on about how, oh yeah, things were much better back in the good old days, you could leave your front door open, let your kids go playing out after dark, and it'd only take the authorities up to 30 years to find out that they'd been sexually assaulted by an opportunistic paedophile. And that's why the good old days were better. S somehow. That and Jeremy never gets to the root of the problem. I've watched this show, admittedly while digging my fingers into the armrests and internally screeching the C word, and all he really does is just poke the guests into admitting more details, because those details are juicy and they'll get people watching. That and we have 47 minutes to fill here, so we gotta use up that time somehow. Oh yeah, and make them do a lie detector test, which isn't even guaranteed to be accurate anyway. Oh yeah, and he preaches at them quite a lot. Did I mention that this show goes out at 9.25 in the morning? 
Yeah, wake up and watch someone's dad start snapping at some random teenagers with distraught home lives to go get a job, and some more general ill-informed preachy shit which doesn't take socioeconomic factors in these people's lives into account that may have led them to fuck their lives up in the first place. And if the show isn't really trying to get to the root of the problem and understand why these people do the things that they do, and just wants to provide the viewer with the catharsis of knowing that they have the moral high ground, then as far as I can see, there's no moral justice justification for the Jeremy Kyle show, and it's just as slimy and reprehensible as it feels. But then again, I suppose if Kyle and his researchers took a different approach and were actually trying to make society better, then they'd remove the problem that their show's based on, and they'd all be out of a job. Oh, um... Oh, it turns out we've solved teenage pregnancy, poverty, unemployment, drug use, and domestic abuse. And there's no one left to come on the show now. Um... So, uh, uh, okay, welcome to the Jeremy Kyle Show. Um, th this week, uh, um, uh, look, everyone, look, it's a shiny object. Ooh, look at the shiny object. The shiny object will be back after these messages.